urologist, as long as it's not myologist. You ready for this? This is coming. The urologist is also the weeologist. <laughs> that is, eh? Eh? Waffle Bros, I'm Corwin. And I'm Uko. And we are back with more Project Brutality. Pick it up where we left off exploding a whole bunch of shield dudes because I do not respect shield dudes. Suck my grenade, bitch. Suck <laughs> my oh, granate. That's the stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted, I wanted to time. like explode blood dancing, dancing in your blood. There we go. My voice is dying a little bit, so, so I don't know so how much blood dancing I can do today. But my you know voice what? is dying too. I'm just gonna is... scream until my uh, until my lungs explode. It's never the lungs though; it's always the throat. Um, we're just in a living room. We're Dude. in a standard living space here. Oh, with an so old I can school kick back, an old school sectional. Well, well, it's, an old, it's an old school sectional, but also the old school rear, proje rear projection. Uh, I Wait, don't think no. that's rear projecting. I don't think that's rear projecting at all. It's a semi-flat screen. I mean, it, this is probably as flat as you can make a screen in the Doom Engine. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. probably <laughs> yeah. what's going yes. on. Oh my God. Over there. Hey, buddy. Oh, as soon as I picked this up, I just knew there'd be motherfuckers coming for me and trying to rip off my skin no you don't okay i just no, realized you don't it's not until you see these like realistic architecture levels that you realize how freaking enormously tall the pinkies are yeah it's true they're like eight feet tall it's true well the pinkies also they're like tall and kind of long in uh noom or new doom <laughs> yes noom <laughs> It's been ah. far too long since we've heard, like, any news... About more Doom. ...about what id Software is doing. And I know we never finished the um, the DLC for Doom Eternal. We, we should, should do, do that, that. Yeah. at some point. I, you know, I know we talked about it a few times. I just didn't enjoy Doom Eternal as much as I enjoyed um, Doom 2016. I think it may have been partially because I was playing it on Nightmare Difficulty or Ultra Nightmare or whatever the fuck. I was playing it on the hardest difficulty, whichever difficulty that was. And... It was just kind of a slog, it felt like. Whereas, yeah, 2016... And then I had that problem where my hand imploded, and, like, I couldn't properly use my hand oh, for a while. yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that was... What even caused that? Um, Handitis? Okay. I don't know what caused it, but it happened, like, it, my hand must have already been weakened, and then I, we got one of those 8-bit do controllers, and... Uh, after I used that, like, for a while, my hand just started feeling immense, horrifying pain. And uh, I use that controller now, and yeah, my I, thumbs I, are fine. I can't use that controller. My, my hands start feeling weird just after holding it for a little bit. But I think it might have been due to, how should I put this, um, years and years of abusing my hands playing video games. <laughs> I, I don't know. So maybe just resting them and adapting your yeah. playing position. Uh, I'd also been reading a whole bunch on my Kindle e-reader. And at the time, I had one of the ones that just had a touch screen. And oh, shit. No, nah, too nah, many demons. Don't even think about it, brah. Don't even freaking um, dude, think about it. They're warping oh, around. Oh, yeah. Taste my uh, sex acid. There we go. There that we dripping go. Dripping green load as Unreal yep. Tournament. Uh, <laughs> yup. In, in case y'all don't but, know, uh, I'll tell you in a minute. Go ahead. Tell oh, about the goo gun. Yeah. In case y'all don't know, the goop gun in Unreal Tournament, if, if you looked at the kill feed, it would be like, you know, somebody got blasted with a blaster or whatever. And then it was like, player one drank a glass of player two's dripping green load. Yeah. Look, if you got a dripping green load that you're dumping on somebody, then you probably ought to see a doctor yeah. about that. Proctologist, go that way. <laughs> no, not the proctologist, a coctologist. A coctologist. A urologist is the word I was looking for. Yup. Urologist, as long as it's not myologist. No. Interesting. Stay down, bitch. You ready for this? This is coming. The urologist is also the weeologist. <laughs> that is, eh? 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 That is true. Um, they they just ripped and tore 
that uh, Menke bitch for me. <laughs> Dude. They ripped and tore him like it was a thing to do. Okay, so here's the question, right? I know that traditionally the incubus is like the opposite of the succubus. Yeah. I, I, I know this is going to sound ignorant, but is a mancubus a thing that existed outside of Doom? I don't think so. <laughs> is I that think just a, they... a thing that they didn't know what an incubus was? Or they... Or they created their like, own thing, yeah. Because like an incubus is supposed to be like a, he's supposed to be like a sexy boy, like a. I, I'm imagining like a, you know, an elf who whips you or something like that. That's kind of how I imagine uh, an incubus being. Yeah, but, I, I but don't know. real um, real blood elves from World of Warcraft type energy. Like I'm imagining that an incubus would look facially very similar similar to the succubus, but would have just a really ripped muscular body. Yeah, kind of like what I'm uh, thinking. Yeah, kind of like somewhere, somewhere between Hugh Jackman's body and uh, I don't know a mannequin. Maybe kind of like a Draenei from a World of Warcraft. Okay, that's yeah. that's kind of what they I'm imagining. They don't skip any Have of them the... like a, a tail and uh, goat legs and all that shit. They don't even skip tail day, let alone <laughs> leg day. Uh, and they're the greatest of of all time at. Um, I don't know, fucking you and stealing your soul, something like that. That's that's what they do, right? I, I thought you were gonna say that's fucking, what they do. I honestly thought you were gonna say fucking you with their tail, and um, I'm like, I'm out. No, fucking you and stealing your whole, not your oh, yeah. soul. Also, you were gonna say before that uh, you might have gotten thumbitis from using your uh, turning the pages on the touch screen. Yes, I do. Which is think... a weird injury, but I think that's what well, it was. I was reading. I was like reading so much. And then when my when my arm started hurting, I started lying in bed and reading more. <laughs> and, oh, so you uh, so you were just gonna die. From I didn't thumbitis. realize that that was potentially causing it to get worse. But then I got like a a different e-reader that has buttons on it, and the buttons are much much easier to press than Which the. Which sounds uh, weird, but it's true. Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds weird. But it's true. It's also got like a handly thing on the side. Yeah, I think the handle is the thing. That's that, probably the big yeah, thing that makes it work. Yeah, because it seems like, oh, it's going to have no bezel. It's That's going to be great. But it's not comfortable. Yeah, I, I, covering I like my bezels. Thank you. Look, I like my, uh, I, <laughs> I like my e-readers like I like my women. Thick and chunky and um, with... Good handles. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm fucking saying. Easy uh, to easy to grip hold of. <laughs> like like my monitor is heavy and from the 80s. Like what? <laughs> uh, oh my god, that's it's getting that's, increasingly esoteric. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. But look, no one's ever accused this channel. Of having weird esoteric humor at oh, all. Okay. At okay. all. Although it would be intriguing. Um, it would be literally sparks. Uh, like imagine if there was a person who, okay, you know when you would reach out and go to change the channel on the TV and there would be that, uh, the undegaussed um, static yes. on, on the glass screen. Imagine if there was a person that had that. Oh. That would be intriguing. Or if there was a person where there was a specific button you could press on them and degauss them, and they'd just be like, they'd make that satisfying, and they'd like distort for a second, and then um, I um, don't know, all of their um, all of their pee would come out. I don't you're, know. You're describing. You're, all you're doing is describing the G spot. Okay, <laughs> like, that's the human degauss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, d I did say all of their pee would come out. That's, so, yeah, that's that's part yep, of it. <laughs> yup. Okay. Okay. Um. We're we're in a subway. We're in and a not, subway. Not, not the kind. A, not the sandwich variety. Not the sandwich variety. But uh, I would still ah. like to speak to their mangler. I mean their manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll mangler. I'll mangler all freaking night. Okay, I know this is a short video, but our throats our voices, are, they're our, both our voices going. and throats are dying. So we're going to stop here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that schmex that thumbs up button. Make sure you ring the bell to keep getting notified of delicious waffle content. Waffle Bros signing out.